guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I had to do another Target run, or not Target, but Erie run today. Um, I had to go take a faucet back that we had ordered for my brother and sister-in-law. It was like messed up when we got here, so I had to return that, um, and it needed to be back, like, I think on Thursday. Or by Thursday, but Thursday I have to take Ella to therapy and stuff like that, and I was not making an eerie trip on a Thursday. So, um, stopped at Sam's Club after we got out of Lowe's. I picked up some of the Cheese Heads string cheese. This is the kind that me and Tim like, and for whatever reason, if we get the same brand at Walmart, um, even though it's in the expiration date, it tastes different and it doesn't string as well this stuff here strings so much better it tastes so much better it's the same brand frigo cheese head string cheese like original string cheese but for whatever reason it's not nearly as good so i i have spent so much money on string cheese from walmart making sure that like it was the right brand making sure it was in date and every time I buy it from Walmart, we end up throwing it away because it just doesn't taste good. I won't even give it to Ella because it just doesn't taste good. What, honey? Yep, I'll help you with the lights. Hold on. Um, so I vow to only ever buy the string cheese at Sam's Club. If I can't get to Sam's Club to get the cheese, then we're going to go without until we can get to Sam's Club to get the cheese. Um, so, we've got dragons printing, we had a group printing, and we had a bearded dragon printing. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, you can wait a couple of minutes for that stuff. We just got home. You just had McDonald's. Um, I got her McDonald's today because I was just not, I'm not cooking today. Um, but I gotta switch up my battery. So, another main reason I needed to go up to Erie is because that's all the bubble wrap that I have left. When it comes to Etsy orders, I go through a ton of, ton of bubble wrap. So, here's our Groot. He's our little like rock and roll Groot tinted in black. Got a rose dragon going in the key lime color. A rose dragon going in brown and then in the burnt orange we did a bearded dragon so I'll have to pop the bearded dragon off and get it get another dragon started on it all we're doing right now are dragons um, anyways while I was at Sam's Club I also needed to get her some breakfast essentials so I got her the carnation breakfast essentials breakfast essentials the milk chocolate um, I grabbed the Captain Crunch crunch berries because I bought a box of it here two or three weeks ago and it hit the spot every single time that I had a bowl of it so I grabbed a big box that has two bags in it got Tim a variety pack of the Sun Chips he's pretty much the only one that eats these comes with 10 of the harvest cheddar 10 of the garden salsa six original and four of the French onion he doesn't care for the French onion, but since it only comes with four, it's not that big a deal. Um, and then I got a variety pack of Classic Mix. It's got the original Lay's, Nacho Cheese Doritos, regular Cheetos, regular Fritos, sour cream and onion chips, and then the original Ruffles chips. And then out here on the porch, I still had my bubble wrap scotch scotch cushion wrap is what I get the big roll at Sam's Club is like 15 16 bucks um, and it comes with 240 feet so 80 yards I think you can get a smaller one that only has, I think, maybe 30 or so yards at Walmart. 
a little cheaper but honestly it's better to get that stuff from Sam's Club in the long run because you save more then I also picked up a 36 pack of Diet Pepsi at Sam's Club for myself instead of having to stop at Walmart because no thanks um then we stopped at Target got a few things so <laughs> When people were down for the 4th of July, I was telling them about the like night Paw Patrol. She had Chase out with her the entire day. Um, and I can't remember if we got Zuma after or before, but I told my dad and everyone that they were like 10 bucks a piece. My dad ended up giving me $50 to make sure that I got her the other ones when I found them. If it took six months, it took six months, but he gave me the money to buy them for her. So. I went up today, I found Marshall, I found Rocky, the only thing I don't like about them is this like band piece moves and it like falls over top of their eyes. We got Rocky, Rubble, and Sky. They did have one other one, it was called Sweetie, I think, which I have never heard of. I'm not gonna get it for her, because it looks just like Sky. What movie? Look, it was in her crown. I will get her crown in a few minutes. I need you to go play for a little bit, honey. Hey, don't do that to my trash can. No, ma'am. Do not touch the trash can. Here, you want your pops? You want your pops? I want to go in my sofa. You don't have a sofa. Go put them in your bedroom. Okay. There you go. So I got her the other four that she needed. They also had like the dragon, but that wasn't like a Paw Patrol. Like it was, it was the Paw Patrol, but you know. Um, I grabbed this wet brush mini detangler so that I can do Ella's hair when we're on the go. So I'm going to have this in my purse with a couple of her hair ties wrapped around the middle piece. I grabbed two more packs of these while I was up there. These bags are fantastic, especially for the craft shows and stuff that I did. Um, Sandy Lake Community Fun Days was my biggest one and I sold, like not sold out, but gave out 95% of my bags with purchases. Um, but these bags are really heavy, really sturdy. They're fantastic. Um, they didn't have any more pink ones, but they did have this blue and I got the last two that they had. They're five bucks each for a pack of 12, making them like 41 cents a bag or something like that, which is not terrible. Um, I ended up getting on Amazon a little bit ago and found some on Amazon for, I think it was a hundred pack for like 20 bucks, which was an even better price because for five bucks, I only get 12. So <laughs> that's a lot better of a price. I'd get 48 for that same price if I were to buy them all at Target. So that was after I already bought these ones. It's all good because I still really like those. Um, and then Ella wanted a pool float. She saw this on this Tidal Wake Cyclone Power portable air pump that Tim bought to like help with blowing up the pool and other things like that. Um, but she saw this like flamingo pool float and she kept saying she wanted her seahorse pool float. And I said, what seahorse pool float? You don't have a seahorse. She's like, the one in Mommy's Kitchen. I said, there is no seahorse in Mommy's Kitchen. She's like, it's in the box. I made her get out of the pool, come in through the house, and show me what the heck she was talking about. I said, honey, that's not a pool float. I showed her that the box was empty. Like, this is what was inside of it. That's, that's not a pool float. So I told her we would go up and get a pool float. It's going to be a little bit big, but... These are the only ones that Target had at the moment that were, this was $5. They had ones that might have fit her a little bit better, but they were like $20 to $25. 
I got her this one. I let her pick it out. It's just clear with a white bottom and colorful polka dots on top. Then your girl stopped at Bath and Body Works. I had a coupon for 20% off your entire purchase. And then I also had another coupon that was a free product of $8.50, like $8.50 value or less, I think, for up to $8.50. So your girl stuff, the Bath and Body Works. This was my bag. This was, this was Ella's bag. I put a few, or one little thing in there so that she can carry it around and feel better, if that makes sense. I didn't want her to feel left out um, but first things first I grabbed this little party hat hand sanitizer how cute is that someone put this hand sanitizer in there I don't know who did I don't know if they did I don't think this ended up getting scanned I didn't even realize it was on there because I had picked it out I told Ella which one to grab and she grabbed it and we kind of walked around with it so I don't even think that they scanned the hand sanitizer but I don't have no idea. I didn't even realize it was on there until I got home when I had pulled it out of the bag. So in Ella's bag, I had this that I found. This was the 850, so I got this for free. Um, it's champagne, apple, and honey fine fragrance mist. Um, so it's just like a little body spray. It says the... It doesn't have this fragrance notes. Maybe the bigger bottles will. I'm not sure, but this does not have the fragrance notes listed. But I thought it was really cute. It's just a little mini spray. Then I got the bigger one. So it's the same same scent, champagne, honey, apple, just in the bigger bottle. Um, this one was $16.50. Um, the fragrance notes are crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, and autumn woods. Wander through an orchard full of sweet, juicy apples and bask in the warm autumn breeze. Um, these were one of the three autumn scents that they had out so far. There was this one. There was pumpkin something latte or something like that. I was going to get that one. I thought it smelled the best, but Tim didn't. He doesn't like pumpkin stuff, so I said sent him a picture. He's like pumpkin, bleh. Um, but it was oh, it was marshmallow pumpkin latte. So I got the champagne apple honey body spray. Then I also got the champagne honey or apple champagne apple and honey shower gel and the lotion. I got the entire set this time. I usually never buy the body sprays. The like shower gel was $13.50. The lotion here was $14.50. Um, I ended up spending like 40 bucks and some change while I was in there, I think it was. Um, but yeah, so I got the entire set so I can get a shower, use the lotion, and then spritz myself before I leave the house and really smell, smell good. Um, and then the other one that I got was the blueberry sugar pancakes. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one. I'm gonna have Tim smell it when he gets home. See if he likes it. If he doesn't care for it, then I'll probably end up taking it back because the only man I wanna smell good for is my husband. Um, but this one is sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes, caramel cream drizzle. Whip up a warm, sweet treat with fresh picked blueberries. So again, I'll have to see what he thinks of this one, but I got the big body spray, the shower gel, and the lotion. I got the entire set again um, <clears throat> for these. So I just, I really like these sets. Um, I don't like the lotion that comes with like, you know, it, it's got like the, the thing at the bottom 
and then it comes up and like comes to a, a, a seam up there. You guys know what I mean? The the body butter is that what it's called? Um, I prefer the moisturizing like lotion like this that looks like these bottles. That's just how I prefer. Um, I think they look neater. They look cuter. A lot easier to organize. And honestly, the formula for this stuff works so much better for me. Um, but yeah, so I got that. The only reason I went into Bath and Body Works was to get my free item. And I ended up walking out with 40 some dollars. Um, plus a little new cute hand sanitizer. The one that I have is like the 4th of July like popsicle, which is great. But Ella's birthday is coming up and I just thought that this was super, super cute. So the hand sanitizer that's in this is it in the stars. So um, yeah, that's everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. And that was the last place that I stopped. I did stop and get Ella some mac and cheese. Yeah, some mac and cheese. Some chicken nuggets from McDonald's because I was hungry. And when we were at Sam's Club, I had stopped at the food court thing there. And I was going to get myself a pretzel. Like a soft pretzel. Get Ella a soft pretzel. And I was going to get a churro. It would have been like three some, like $3.36 or whatever after tax and everything. Plus, if I decided to get a drink, you know, that would be an additional 89 cents. But they didn't have churros, nor did they have the pretzels while I was there. And I was so sad. She said that they were sold out and that they wouldn't be getting any more in store for, like, in back in stock for, like, a week. And I was so bummed. Um, I don't care for Sam's Club Pizza. I like their pretzels. I like their churros. And honestly, $3 would have been a lot better than $10. That would have fed me and Ella, and I would have been set for 95% of the day. But, you know. Um, but, Prime Day deals so far, like I said, I got the bags. The only downfall is they are brown paper bags. They're not colored in any way, shape, or form, which kind of bums me out. But it's not the end of the world. Um, and then I also got a phone mount for in the van, like a mountable phone mount so that we can put our phone up on the dash with like the GPS or something pulled up. It's going to be so much more helpful. Um, we always have to put it down in like the center console and it just gets to be a pain in the butt. You have to look down to see your phone as opposed to just looking right at the dashboard. That type of thing. So I ended up ordering one that came, I think that was like $22. It was originally like $40. So I had a couple of pretty good deals. And then I also ordered this, not on Prime Day deals. Um, I just ordered this before Prime Day even started because I really wanted one. I was looking on Etsy for like cash bags to take to craft shows and stuff. So like, 95% of my craft shows that I do. I have 15 ones that I start with and then some other bills for some change. Due to a lot of my items being one to three dollars, the amount of ones I get is substantial. At community days, I had to put back $25 in ones plus another five another hour later. So I had $30 in ones pulled back and I still had 20 ones in like my actual cash box. So I want to get, I wanted to get something that I could put some bills in down underneath my tablecloth, like inside my purse or something like that. This way I know where it's at. It's safe. The wind's not going to blow it. It's not going to get all tangled. It's not going to keep clustering up my cash box and stuff like that. And plus I also wanted something so that I could organize my cash at the end of the show you need to wait please but this way I can put 50s in a pouch 20s in a pouch or what I was going to do was all in one big pouch but I found this on Amazon and I thought it was really good it was I think I paid uh, let me see a few order details I paid $9.53 for it. That was after tax. It was $8.99 by itself. 
um, but it comes with the like little file folder thing. It comes with eight. It comes with eight piece. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, I'll just read you it. It says PU leather notebook binder budget planner organizer six ring binder cover eight piece binder pockets 12 piece expense budget budget sheets and 26 category letter stickers label pink small bold font it was like the kind that i had ordered i'm not gonna end up using the letters but for the bold font it was only 8.99 but if I chose the cursive font, it was $10.99. So I'm not gonna spend $2 more for something that I'm not gonna use, you know? So that's what I got. Um, it has like housing, food, pets, care, uh, miscellaneous, gas, clothing, gifts, groceries, deposit, beauty, maintenance, car, entertainment, personal, like, so you can kind of do your budgeting and keep your cash in there, which I know like Rochelle Swanee used to do on YouTube. I don't know if she still does it anymore, but, I know that she used to do something like that, but it's just got the little pink book right here. It's got the eight folders here, the budgeting sheets, which again, I probably won't use. And then the stickers, which again, I probably won't use. Um, but it's got everything that I need, you know, to store it. It comes with the eight pouches so I could put fifties, you know, hundred, 50, 20s, 10s, 5s, 1s, and still have a couple of extra. Um, this way I can help keep track of everything. Um, and this way, like, like I said, if I have too many ones in my box, I can pull some back. But then again, if I run out of those ones, I still have those ones that I pulled back that I can grab. Um, the 50s and 100s I don't like to keep in my cash box because my cash box only has four like drawer spaces if that makes sense for ones fives tens and twenties so 50s hundreds two dollar bills stuff like that if I get them they have to go in the back or underneath of the 20s and it just ultimately doesn't make sense that way so the 50s and hundreds and stuff like that I would pull back I did get a $2 bill at Community Days, my last craft show that I did, and I am 110% going to keep that in my cash box. What do you have? Oh, okay. 110% um, going to keep that in my cash box because they have always said that $2 bills mean good luck. So I got it within the first hour, I think, or I think it was like one of the first 10 sales that I made before noon. Um, and it brought me good luck for the entire day. So I'm just going to keep that sucker in my cash box because yes, please. Cheerios. You want Cheerios? All right, go sit down at the kitchen table. Okay. That's Captain Crunch. That's not Cheerios. I'm gonna go see if she wants some Captain Crunch or if she wants her Cheerios and I will see you guys all in a little bit. 